Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back to some more Football Manager 2023 and some more of the Journeyman series with Chester City. Uh, today we are back with uh, the FA Cup, the start of the FA Cup, and uh, we are back in the league against Scarborough Athletic, which is a postponed match due to a waterlogged pitch. Uh, I just want to say, over the last few days, I've had a, a, a large amount of new subscribers uh, new people that are getting involved in this series and i just want to say a massive thank you for that uh, and welcome aboard um uh, this series will be as daily for as long as we're enjoying it as long as uh, we we want that to, to happen um and if that's all the way up until fm24 then that's that's the way it goes but uh, inevitably there will be a time where we don't enjoy it so much but i'm i'm really enjoying the grind this year of fm23 i've obviously really struggled so far with the, the game um been sacked twice of course with newcastle in the beta and uh, with kidderminster last season who funnily enough are top of the league now and uh, very much are becoming the rivals of the series but uh, since you were last with me things have gone fairly well uh, we of course beat oldham 3-1 in the last episode we then went away from home and beat fc united in manchester 2-1 uh, kelsey mooney and tj bramble on the score sheet there uh, and followed that up with two 3-0 victories against kings lynn horatio uh, campton sturridge and fuster on the score sheet there and then we beat royston 3-0 with uh, Glendon, Higginson and Mooney scoring. All meaning that we are second in the Vanarama National League North with 19 points from eight games. We have got a game in hand on Kidderminster. We are going to be playing that midweek in today's episode. So we could return to the top of the table, but uh, Kidderminster looking good so far. And uh, it, it's you just know it's going to be us against them this season. Great to see South Shields up in the top six as well. My hometown, uh, we will be rooting them on most definitely this season. Uh, so looking forward to it. Uh, we've also brought in a brand new sign-in in the shape of Luke Charman, who was one of the top scorers last season, scored 27 goals in 38 uh, appearances last year scored 18 the season before both for filed so i'm looking forward to uh seeing what what he's got to offer um this season he's come in at 400 pound per week not too bad i had to give him a few bonuses to to get him in on that um wage but uh certainly somebody that i think will play well he's 26 years old decent attribute uh has been on trial over the last month um to try and get his fitness up he will be starting today and we'll see what he is all about um but yeah uh squad performances so far this season top goal scorer is uh kellen hickinson once again with five from seven three each for Orsi dodomo and uh, kelsey mooney Top assists is three for George Glendon, two each for Sam Sanders and Lee Angle. Uh, top average rating is uh, Jordan Cranston from his one match, uh, an eight rating. Um, but in general, Sam Sanders with a 7.89 and uh, George Glendon with a 7.57. Right, you then. Time to get into our league, our FA Cup match. First FA Cup match of the season of course uh it is a requirement that we get to the fa cup round uh, first round proper which could be uh a bit of a problem and could get us sacked that's what got us sacked at kidderminster don't forget so yeah we've got to hope that we actually perform this season and, and get that done so uh, let's have a little look then uh, bobby jones will start in goal thomas burke sanders and brooks will start as a flat back four we've then got fuster kenyon and glendon in the midfield with hickinson supporting new sign in luke Sharman and uh dean campton sturridge up top so let's get into the action uh squad number will go to Sharman. he's going to be the number 18 up top and uh, i am expecting a big big victory against redditch today uh, they are a team a couple of divisions below us and I would I would expect that we will go out there and uh, win quite comfortably. At least that's what I'm expecting. You know, we have been in very good form recently. But having said that, I haven't played the game for 
about 48 hours and fm does not like it when you don't give it any love for a couple of days so um <laughs> you know we we could well find that uh redditch do shock us today but uh, fingers crossed we can go out there and and perform to the best of our ability here's uh tom's at four redditch and uh still going but andre brooks gets it back here's jones now to sanders he clears it towards uh, Campton Sturridge doesn't manage to get a Hickinson. Now to Fuster. Here's Sharman. Gets it back to Thomas now. Thomas on the ball. Back to Burke. Burke. What's he going to do with it? Gets it to Kenyon. Here's Burke again. Now Thomas. Thomas on the ball. He gets it forward to Sharman. Now back to Thomas. Thomas still going. Burke. Sanders. Here's Kenyon to Glendon. Long highlights usually end in goals. And here's Luke Sharman with a chance at his first goal within the first five minutes of this match. And he is knee sliding all over the shop. Camden Sturridge with the assist. And that is what you're going to get with Luke Sharman this season. He knows how to find the back of the net. Uh, that was a beautiful ball through, and as soon as he's through, no keeper in the world is stopping that. That is just a terrific goal, and it's 1-0 to Chester. And this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted to play a strong squad today so that we take the FA Cup very seriously. Here's uh, Glendon. He, with the free kick, goodness me, that was, I was picking up pace as it headed towards the goal. That was terrific from him. Unlucky not to get the goal, and here's Glendon now. He's going to whip it in, and Captain Sturridge is there, but Burke puts it into the back of the net with his header, and it is 2-0 now. Um, I don't know exactly what happened there. Glendon got it in. It was, uh, well, it was just Burke straight in with a header, Martin with a save, but it does go into the back of the net, and it is 2-0 now. Here's Glendon again with a corner kick. Burke's there again, hits the bar this time. What a performance so far from us. I think we need to uh, praise the boys, tell them how well they're playing, and this is exactly how we've been playing in the league, to be fair. I, I think it's going to be a very, very strong season for us. Here's Thomas, gets it to Fuster. Now to Thomas again. Thomas on the ball, now to Kenyon, Kenyon whips it in, Sharman's there but loses out to Dawson, header by Glendon, here's Andre Brooks on the left hand side, back to Glendon, now forward to Brooks, Brooks gets it in, Fuster's there, Fuster scores, Billy Fuster with his third goal of the season and it's now Chester 3, Redditch 0, terrific start um, to this match and you've got to say we have been very much the better team here and uh, I think we can start thinking about subbing players off I believe that there are five substitutions in an FA Cup tie just like pretty much every other level of English football um, so we can rest plenty of our players today and we are already thoroughly rested because of course we had the um, goodness me that was nearly another goal we did have the postponed game against uh, um, Scarborough Athletic. So, you know, we are we are already in a, a pretty good place with our fitness, but let's look after our players, I say. That's uh, a good ball forward to Campton Storage. Now here's Glendon, a Hickinson. Hickinson on the ball to Sanders now. Sanders is going to... Well, I thought he was going to go forward. Kenyon goes forward instead. Only as far as there. Left back, here's Martin, he clears it. It's going to be only as far as Harrison Burke with the header. Here's Kenyon now, Kenyon to Hickinson, Hickinson forward. And it's Luke Sharman for his second, dinks it over the keeper, hits the post. Very unlucky there, still remains 3-0 just before half-time. Here's Brooks, Brooks on the ball. Tried to whip it in, but here's Glendon now, back to Brooks. Brooks into the middle, Fuster's there. Now back to Thomas. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that was close. Very, very close. 3-0 at half-time, you've got to say. Let's put our hands on our hips, get the Macarena going, and uh, say, I'm very happy with your performance. Let's keep it up. Right, um, I think, quite honestly, I think we need to rest some players. So, um, Orsi... Uh, has been injured recently, but I think bring on Kelsey Mooney. We're going to bring him on for Campton Sturridge. Helliwell's going to come on for Thomas. Uh, David Aggie's going to come on for Sanders. 
Uh, Nathan Law is going to come on for uh, Fuster. Ah, okay. So we don't have five substitutions. Um, so let's. No, I think I think Sanders is an important one. Campton Storage, we're going to keep off, and we're going to put Nathan Law on instead. Um. Kelsey, no. Mm. Mm. Can I just stop that substitution? Yeah, there we go. That'll do. We might bring Nathan Lowe on a little bit later on. And that'll be fine. But 3 0. Very, very happy so far with this performance. And should be easily through to the third qualifying round and we'll stick about for the draw as well in today's episode. Should be able to see it. It was, it was hilarious. Uh, Dwight Gale was, was the presenter of the of the um, of the draw. But a really random feature this year that it's random past players that do the draws. Like, why would Dwight Gale be presenting it? It's just ridiculous. Davy Aggie gets it away. He has uh, as an all. Oh, this could be a chance for them, you know, and it is in. And that's a bit of a mistake from Bobby Jones there. 3 1 to Redditch. First goal we've conceded in quite a while. And that just gives them a little bit of hope. They get another goal, and all of a sudden, we're under pressure. Here's Brooks. Gets it to Kenyon. Kenyon back to Glendon now. Lots of space. Gets it into the middle. Shaman's there. Can't do anything with it. Here's Heliwell. Heliwell into the middle. Nope. End of uh, end of the highlight for us. Here's Burke. Gets it to Davy Aggie. Here's Glendon. Glendon forward to Brooks. Brooks is going to whip it in now. No, gets it to Glendon. Still Glendon. Look at this. Glendon into the middle. Fuster's there. Fuster scores. 4-1. And now we're going to bring off Alex Kenyon. We're going to bring on Nathan Lowe for the last 35 minutes. And uh, very good fitness levels. Got to be happy with that. Nice ball forward. Glendon. Back to low. Here's Davy Aggie. Fuster. Fuster forwards. Here's Campton Sturridge. Good save. Good save by the keeper there. Kimberley gets it away, but only as far as Brooks. He gets it back into the middle. Campton Sturridge is there. And a highlight there. Good stuff. 4-1 now. Now here's Halliwell. Nope. Loses it. Here's Anolm. Kimberley. Clears it. Here's Alibi. Alibi on the ball. Whips it in. Ooh. Could have been 4 2. You know, Redditch have been pretty decent in the second half. Has to be said. But uh, it is going to finish 4 1, unless we're going to get a late goal in this final highlight here. Davy Aggie misses the, the header and uh, Darkwest still going. Oh, good block. Good block by Glendon. Still 4-1. We're going to have the corner, but I don't imagine much will come from it. And the ref might even blow his whistle here because they're not doing much. Dawson gets it in. Davy Aggie gets it away. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, Dawson still going here. Sharman now. And that is full time. 4-1. Right in the bag. Very happy with that. Um, about as comprehensive as you get. Fabulous work. That is what we're talking about. 4-1 on the day. And we are comfortably through to the next round of the FA Cup. Which is brilliant. Uh, I would like to see when is the draw for the third qualifying round. 23rd of the 9th. So we will be back for the draw in just a second. Here we go then, ready for the FA Cup third round draw. Is it going to be Dwight Gale again? Oh no, who's this guy? Alex Revel. Who is this guy? Alex Revel. Uh, ooh, sorry to Stevenage fans, he seems to have been a part of your alumni, but why the hell would this guy be, <laughs> be part of it? Um, right, let's have a little look. So he's been barrel manager in this save. Um... Was at Stevenage as a coach for quite a bit. Um, but didn't seem to do much 
<laughs> as a footballer. Uh, you know, he played at his at EFL level uh, a long, long time. I don't remember him. I've got to be honest. Um, but yeah, let's start the draw. Hi, uh, Alex Revel. I'm your host for these proceedings. Uh, right. Oh. Is that the draw? Oh, no, that's uh, the previous match. Okay. Cool. Right. Um, I don't think... Oh, I don't actually know what's happened here. Has it glitched? No, here we go. Right. Um, okay, start the draw. So Gainsborough or Spenny Moore are going to play Banbury. Hungerford are going to play Harrow and Chessant. Chesham are going to play Curzon Ashton. Met Police are going to play Taunton or Salisbury. Uh, Greys are going to play Enfield Town, probably. Folkestone, Bideford. Uh, let's just advance to our team. So I think we're at... Or have we just come out there? Um, yes, we're out now. So there we go. We are playing uh, Brightlingsea. I don't know where Brightlingsea region are. Let's have a little look. Um... So they're, they're in the Isman Premier League, which means they're Midlands, I think. Is that, is that about right? Let's have a little look at their general general information. Who are their rivals? They don't have any rivals. How am I ever meant to work out who on earth these are? Eastern counties, yeah. Okay. So they lost against uh, Enfield. They did beat Stourbridge, though. Now, Stourbridge, I think... Yeah, they they were in the Vanarama National League North last season. So that's an impressive victory for them. So they are playing us at home. That's going to be on the 5th of October, which uh, will be in our next episode. So we'll be doing Brightland Sea and uh, Nuneaton Borough in the next one. And then that should open us nicely for the South Shields match after that. But... Uh, yeah, a little bit glitchy there. But Brightlingsea. That sounds good. North Road. Does it tell us where uh, that is? It doesn't. I will look it up and find out where they're from. Well, we're going to go with an unchanged uh, lineup for this match. Brightlingsea, by the way, are. Uh, it's pretty much near Ipswich, so I was completely <laughs> wrong with, with my. Um, sort of assumptions of where it might be um so it is norfolk -y. <laughs> east anglia i guess that's that's where it is east anglia i think is where we're looking at um so yeah in the air switch who knew some of you probably did i bet uh i bet good old rob knew in the the comments because I, th I think he's from round ipswich way but uh, yeah, unchanged lineup for this match. Uh, so let's get ourselves into it. Um, Scarborough, we've got a good record against them. I think we had two decent victories against them last season. So um, uh, fingers crossed, we'll be able to replicate that today with this unchanged lineup. So here we go. Let's get ourselves into the match. We'll uh, encourage the entire team, and it would be nice if we could. Stick a few goals past Scarborough Athletic here. Um, I am going to change that to the league table. Yeah, so Scarborough currently down in uh, mid-table. Glendon with the shot never looked like it was going to trouble the, the goalkeeper there. But uh, Kidderminster, top of the league. We need to usurp those. We need to get rid of those from that pesky little top spot. But uh, nice to see that the, the pitch isn't waterlogged. We have had a fair few problems with that over the last 12 months. So might be worth trying to get the pitch relayed by the board. They never tend to like you asking for that. So we're probably not going to manage to get it relayed anytime soon. But uh, there you go, 70% possession. I told you that that was a thing. Some people didn't believe me when I was saying... Um, Somebody said, I can't believe it's 70% possession. 
in non-league, but it is. You know, we're we're doing a really good job with this with this tactic. Uh, he has Campton Sturridge trying to chase down Bramall here, and now Pennington on the ball. He whips it forward to Delfonozu. Oof! Wow, that very nearly was the opener for Scarborough. And we do just look a little jaded. It's uh, FA Cup hangover, but I suppose an unchanged lineup is is always going to lead to that. Um, good ball across to Joe Thomas now. He gets it forward towards Sharman. Couldn't manage anything there. Um, and Bramall's now got it for Scarborough. And I do fancy Scarborough to nick a winner here because we are looking a little jaded, a little just... Indifferent, and that's a terrible tackle. Delfinosu sticks it into the back of the net, and it is 1-0 to Scarborough Athletic, and now all of a sudden we need to think about substitutes. So we're going to bring on Orsi Dodomo because he is a brilliant player. Um, Kellen Higginson not having the best of games, neither is Alex Kenyon. Uh, I am going to bring on Nathan Law because I do think he is an absolute hero. Um, that's fine. Well, even even the likes of Sam Sanders not having a brilliant game. We have got Kelsey Mooney on the bench as well, so I think leave it another 10 minutes or so. Might need to berate the boys here. Get them going a little bit. So, here we go. I mean, we've had 10 shots, only one on target. That's, that's our problem right now. And I th think we might have to bring... Luke Sharman off, but uh, here's Glendon. He whips it in towards Sanders. That's a penal, Jeff. It's a penal, Jeff. And Sanders has won that penal, Jeff, and Hickinson is going to step up. He's had a decent penalty record this season, but it feels like a match. It's not going to happen. Oh, it just trickled past the keeper. Oh, I thought that was going to be a classic FM save there. When your backs are against the wall... But he just about slid it past the goalkeeper. Cracknell got a hand to it. Just couldn't quite get it round the, the post. But it is one all. Now can we go and get a winner? It would be fantastic if we could. Here's Bramall. Let's not have a loser in it. Here's Brooks. It's weird to be in a match where you've only got one player over a rating of seven. Here's Sharman. That's forward to Orsi. I think he's offside. I think he is offside. Yeah. Referee didn't hold kindly to that. And that's what I mean. It just feels like one of those matches you're not meant to win. And this is almost what I thought the um, the rich, the rich Redditch match would be like. But uh, there you go. One all in this match. It's better than a defeat. I think last season we, we'd have probably lost that. Um, we haven't knocked Kidderminster off the top of the table, so that, that is a problem. Um, but we will be back. We will be back uh, after the next match against Telford for Brightling C in the next episode. A day out to East Anglia. And, uh, well, hopefully we'll manage to get through the fourth qualifying round, which would be amazing but uh, if we lose that match it could well be our last match in charge of Chester which would be really really awful but if you have enjoyed that then give it a big thumbs up down below subscribe for plenty more FM23 videos and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye